Hello students, welcome to the lab lecture of Python for BCA third semester. Let us check the contents first of all. The course code is 1917, Programming in Python Laboratory. Let us check the contents. I have already completed 12 programs. I am going to discuss about the third program, 13th program today. Evaluate the following expression x minus x square divided by 2 factorial plus x cube divided by 3 factorial, x raised to power 4 divided by 4 factorial, up to so on x raised to power n divided by n factorial. And similarly the second series x minus x cube divided by 3 factorial then plus x raised to power 5 divided by 5 factorial up to so on n term. Let's copy this content and paste in the spider platform in the comment section. This one is the program we have to execute. It's program number 13. This one is the program. It comprises of two parts basically, first series and second series. Now to start with this content for to develop the series. First of all, what are the variables required to enter? First is the value of x input enter x and then the second value or you can say second variable you have to enter that is n and the next requirement is the calculation of factorial. Let us design a function for that. Fact. Let us pass some variable m. Then if m is equal to 1, return 1 or you can say m is equal to 0 return 1 else it's a simple factorial function else return m multiply fact m minus 1 each time the value is reduced by 1 and all the values are multiplied this function is required basically to calculate the factorial of a number because we have to apply factorial inside this series that's why i developed the function and the next content for i series is required basically according to the value of n i in range you can write here 1 to n plus 1 it means starting from 1 to n the series is required now what next the series is x minus x square divided by 2 factorial x cube divided by 3 factorial to find the sum we have to write here s is equal to 0. We have to initialize sum is equal to 0. Then right here s is equal to s plus. Each time we have to add some number. First of all first value is positive. Second is negative then positive 
than negative. It means we have to generate first sign as positive and second as negative, then third as positive and fourth as negative. For that, what we have to do? Minus 1 power i plus 1. Now, what is the meaning of this? Minus 1 raised to power i plus 1. When value of i is equal to 1, here it produces 2. It means minus 1 raised to power 2. It means first sign is positive. When i is equal to 2, it means here 3 is there. It means minus 1 raised to power 3. It means negative sign is there. It means for first value, positive sign is there. For second value, negative sign, then positive, then negative, again up to so on. Now the second one, multiply. The next content is x raised to power 1, then x raised to power 2, x raised to power 3, up to so on. It means x power i. This one is required each time. x raised to power i. Then what next? In first term, you can say 1 factorial. Second term, 2 factorial. Then 3 factorial, up to so on. It means divided by factorial, the function is already defined, pass i inside, factorial of i. This one is required. This one is basically the series. Now, print, you can print here s. Let's check that. Suppose I enter value of x as 1 and uh, value of n as 3. Check the output. First value is 1, then 0 0.5, 0 0.666. Okay. Let's check the output. Now, if value of x is equal to, in comment section, if I am writing x is equal to 1 and n is equal to 3. Now, what should be the output? It will be back 1, close the comment here, first value is 1, then minus 1 divided by 2, then plus 1 divided by 6. Now, why the value is like this? Because value of x is equal to 1, here 1, 1 divided by 2 factorial, it's 2, then 1 cube, it's 1 divided by 3 into 2 into 1, that is 6. Now, what next? 1. First value is 1. And what about second value? Second value is 1 minus 1 over 2. That is 1 minus 0 0.5. And answer is equal to 0 0.5. What next? 1 minus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 divided by 6. Now, what about this value? This value is 1 minus 0 0.5 plus, now what about 1 divided by 6? It is 0 0.6 into 1, 6. Zero point one six 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 like this. Now, calculate this value. If I calculate this value, the answer is equal to 0 0.666, like this. This one is the answer. Suppose I have to print only the sum, then I can get print statement out of the for loop. Now, calculate again 1 and 3, you will get the output only. Here, you can write sum of the series equal to, here you can place comma, you can execute the program now, 1 and 3. The output is equal to 0 0.666 like this. If you have to round off the content, you can round off, round, s, comma, 3. Suppose I have to display the content up to 3 places of decimal. Then execute again. 1, 3. You can 
print the data up to three places of the decimal. In this way, you can calculate the first series, sum of the first series. Let us try with the second series, this one. Now, what to do with the series? Okay, for that, delete this one. This one is not required now. Factorial function is required also in the second case. We have to change some values here. Okay. Minus 1 raised to power i plus 1. It is required because first value is plus, then second is negative, then plus, then negative. All the contents are required in this case also. But in this case, first term is x raised to power 1 only means x raised to power 1 divided by 1 factorial. Then the second value is x cubed divided by 3 factorial. Then x raised to power 5 divided by 5 factorial. It means all the odd values are there. For that, what I have to do, k is equal to 2 i 2 star i minus 1. Now what is the meaning of this? I can generate the odd values by writing 2 i minus 1. If the value of i is equal to 1, k is equal to 1. If the value of i is equal to 2, k is equal to 3. 2 into 2, 4, minus 1. It means I can generate negative values. Now what is required here? x raised to power. You can write uh, k here. And what about this value? You can write factorial of k here, nothing else. You have to change the program like this. Let us execute the program for a second series. Suppose I am writing 1, then 4 here. The answer is 0 0.841. Let us check this answer. Let us try to calculate this one. Convert this program into comment section so that uh, we can easily Calculate the content. Here. Now, what is required here? If value of x is equal to 1 and n is equal to 4, then uh, what should be there? Suppose I am printing. Okay. We have to delete this. Suppose I am printing, what value is required here? 1 minus 1 divided by 6. This is the first content that is required. Then the next value here I have to write plus sign. 1 minus 1 divided by 6 plus 1 divided by 120 is there because of 5 factorial. Now what about the next value? Next value should be x raised to the power 7 divided by 7 factorial. Okay. x raised to the power 7. The value is 1 then divided by 7 factorial. 7 factorial is let us check that value. What about 7 factorial? If I am printing here, print 7 multiply 6 multiply 5 multiply 4 multiply 3 multiply 2 multiply 1. To check the value of 7 factorial, the value is 5040. Okay. Let us delete this one. And uh, here what is required, the requirement is 5040. Now close the bracket. Let us check again. First value is 1, then 1 divided by 6 plus 1 divided by 120, then minus 1 divided by 5040. Let us execute the program. You can find here the same value 0 0.8541, this one. It is the same value as that of the calculated value. 
Now, you can modify these programs also. This one is the two series. If you are writing, you are deleting this content, this content, this one is the negative content. It means you can generate the positive signs also. If you are writing 2i only, it means you can calculate the program for even powers. And even the different powers can be calculated by writing this formula. If the powers are in AP, you can calculate easily. Maximum times the power are in arithmetic progression. You can find the nth term and accordingly you can calculate that particular power. It is the program number 13. It is the complete program as per the syllabus, this one. Next time I will discuss about printing of all possible combinations of 4, 5 and 6. Basically this content is from permutation and combination. Thanks for watching my video.